riding down the Harland Highway. All right, hold tight on the Harland Highway show. Harland Williams. Hey, everybody, here we go. Wait, don't want to start with these on my face. Uh, it's Harlan Williams, and you're on the Harlan Highway. Stop the music. Stop the noise. Have a special guest today. That's G-U-E-S-T. Uh, are, you, are you here, buddy? Uh, are you ready to do this? You don't even seem like you're ready to do this. <laughs> you're just uh, flying off the walls. <laughs> I know, should I start again? Why don't you bring a three liter thing of Coke in here? Is that enough for you? You freak? Freak zone. You're the first to use those headphones. I'm the last to use them, too. This show's going under. No. I just, you know, I I got a little discombobulated because I started with my glasses on and I didn't want to. Yeah. And then, you know, I just... um, I'm just, you know, flying all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> now introduce yourself to the nice people. Jesus. Did you take like like thyroid medication before this? Thyroid. You're like bouncing. <laughs> what do you mean? Thi- what is a thyroid? Thyroid. What? I don't know what it is, but you, you can't eat spinach if you have one. <laughs> it's It's not good. You can't can't eat spinach. What are you talking about? If you have a thyroid. (laughs) Freak show. What? What are you talking about? Talking about your wife. She's got she's got shingles. (laughs) Just regular shingles, like they go in a house. I told her to stay away from Home Depot. Um Introduce yourself to the good folks. What are these angles, by the way? Can't you set up these microphones so they don't block your whole head? (laughs) What do you mean? It's ranch like low. Low, but it cuts right through your whole head. I'm just... (laughs) What do you mean? My head's up here. Fucking freak show. (laughs) What are you talking about? There's nothing going through my head. There's nothing going on in your head either. (laughs) Tell me more about your wife. (laughs) Freak show. Dude, relax. Yeah, I'm trying to. You, you gotta the Harlan Highway. <laughs> Leave you on the side of the road. <laughs> All right, re- introduce yourself. Jesus, it doesn't matter who I am. It just doesn't matter at this point. My name is Jeff Richards. Oh God, it took you so long to. Just get it out. Well, I had to find a. I had to find a moment when you weren't laughing. <laughs> you, I mean, you're just like you're like a petri dish. Well, you got microscopic <laughs> things going on right now. Freak show. <laughs> well, you're making me laugh, dude. Thanks. God, Jeff Richards, uh, Saturday Night Live also has his own uh, incredible web uh, web show. Web based. Web based show, and it's. Uh, What's the actual name of it of your show? It's called the Jeff Richards Show. Jeff Richards Show, but it's 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 this process you do through technology called deep fakes. Yeah, and and what Jeff does, he's a master impressionist, and if and if we if I ask him kindly, I might be able to get him to do some impressions later in the podcast. But he not only does immaculate voices of of famous people. But you do this process called deep faking where they put the technology on your on, wife's face. <laughs> on your face. <laughs> oh. How dare you. How yeah, it's a it's a show. I, I do an impression and then I interview someone and then yeah. they put a deep fake on it. You've done it twice. Yeah. And it's it's I've done it a few times and people actually like email me or call me and say, Hey, what was that weird interview you did with David Letterman? And I go, What are you talking about? And they go, I saw you. You guys were going back and forth, and you were calling. And I go, oh, that was Jeff. He does this thing where he he, he, he does the voice so real. You, you, you would hope at some point, and, and, and I don't know. I don't know when. <laughs> it's nice to be here. It's good to have you. Could you have a more puzzled look on your face? <laughs> that, see, that's, what, that's Letterman's voice. 
and then you put Letterman's face on there with the computer, and it's 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 uh, people think it's really him. Yeah, people think you're really you. I say, hey, I say, what now? That's right. Mm-hmm. Now that's right. <laughs> you're just like. <laughs> This can't go on forever. <laughs> yes, it can. Okay. Uh, but speaking of technology, let's talk about technology, TikTok and YouTube and all this crap and Instagram. Because I I have a theory that, you know, you watch the reels, right? The little the little reels where it's yeah. clips and you, you sit there, you kind of get addicted, right? You sit there and watch them for hours sometimes. And I've noticed, and I, I wrote, it, wrote it down, there's a pattern to it. It's like you'll be watching TikTok and, or Instagram, and there's patterns and rhythms. So you'll get like a singer. You'll get like Taylor Swift or something singing. Or uh, who's that little uh, Latina girl with the big long Morgan, hair? Morgan, Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman. There's a Latina girl? No, Morgan Fairchild. <laughs> no. Are you oh. talking about Dynasty? No, I'm talking about a singer. The, the, oh, Elvis. Elvis Presley. No, no, the little Latina girl with the big long hair and she wears the, the thigh-high boots. Norm Crosby. Uh, that, yes, no. Ariana Huffington. Oh, Ariana Grande. Yeah. That's it, yeah. Ariana Grande, so it'll be her or uh, Taylor Swift or Dulipa. Have you heard of this girl, Dulipa or Dulipa or... I think I'm gonna bang it number nine 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 I'm levitating. I'm levitating. I'm levitating. Yeah. Well, how did? Nine 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 that's not what your wife said last night. Whoa, power Whoa. player. Whoa, Whoa, Sarah Lee. Power crunch. <laughs> wow. Wow. So so we got... Can we, we start over? Do you want to? No. We I can like, if you no, want. I'm having fun. This is good. Are I'm you serious? Just being sarcastic. I thought this is going well. I don't you can know. Cut now it up. now I think it, I want to start it over. You gave me an idea to start it over. Just start it over, but you got to take your glasses off this time. Oh, Yeah. Hey everybody, here we go. This is the Harland Highway, and uh, here's my gift. Just, oh, forget about it. So anyways, <laughs> we uh, we have the singer, we got the Dua Lipas, and Dua then Lipas. we go, you're scrolling through, right. and then suddenly you got a prank. You got a fat guy farting on a family at a beach, or you get these guys with the tubes, choopy wawa or whatever what's it these guys they go up to guys ears and they're choopy and they're they go right into the air and get, yeah and the guy wants to kill him yeah and they or they walk up I, and they move I, they go ah right i think guy. those are all set up those aren't real though well anyways it's so you go from do yeah. to prank to now you got like some girl in a bikini that's barely a bikini like it's dental floss with sewing thread right so you go to that, or you've got a sexy housewife like lip syncing in a, in a skimpy outfit, and then you go. And I, I got a point to this, but I'm going. I got to go through the list. Are you okay with this? I mean, how long is this list? Well, I think you're here, so you're gonna sit through it like a good little boarding school brat child. Uh, and then you got all of a sudden you go from girl in bikini. Okay, now you're in the African savanna. And wild dogs and hyenas are ripping the fetus out of the inside of a water buffalo. Like they're, they're just right, like right. they're just like eating it. They're they're ten, right. like lions are are gargling baby zebras. Right. I mean, it's it's just like the today I saw a, a pack of wild African dogs pull the intestines out of a water buffalo while it was still standing, or a, a crocodile snapping the face off a, an antelope. So a second ago, I was watching some chick in Cleveland in her bikini parading around by the pool, and then back it up, I got Doolipa and uh, Destiny's Child or whoever you used to date, and then we go from there, from the animals and the lions to like a, a cute baby video. Suddenly there'll be a baby gurgling, or there'll be a baby someone. Well, will they're all just—it's just a attention grabbing, clickbait kind of thing, you know. It's just like. But but here's a hippopotamus. Uh, yes. Here's some breasts. Here's a baby. Right. Here's a raccoon going to the 
grocery store. You were going to say the gym, but grocery store? Well, that's similar. They okay. have a vending machine. Yeah. Usually. Or protein bars, at least. Yeah. But then you see then you see a guy on the truck stop, you know, just, you know, trying to flip the top of his 7-Up into, into a moat. <laughs> yeah. You know. And then you got, like, the road rage stuff where people are in the street, civil discourse. They're yelling and swearing at each other. And then there's people fighting. And then all of a sudden you got a, a cute cat or a kitten cuddling up to a, a species that it would never get close to in the real world. Like yeah, I, like a... I saw, I saw like a, like a kitten snuggling with a, a chicken goose or something the yeah. other day. If that's or even a, a Rottweiler, like you know, playing nosies with a with a, a black widow. Yeah, or or like a, like a wiener dog snuggling up to a Siberian tiger somehow. A piece of salary getting launched into the air and shot out of the air with an arrow. Correct. Cool. That was good. Well, no, here's my point. No, no, don't leave yet. Here's, here's my point. So you did it. You, you, you rambled off all the things, right? Trying to keep up. Yeah. Right. But here's my question now. And this is a, this is a long winding question. Yeah. Real long. But because you know the internet and you're a thinker, you're a deep thinker. I want to know is the, did, are the people that put this stuff together. I don't think it's just random. I don't think it's just Gee, let's put a lion next to a bikini. I think the people who run the intergoogle or whatever it is, mm -hmm. I think they've somehow sat down and mapped out the psychology of what kind of an effect is raw sex, a woman in a skimpy bikini, butted right up to a visions of a lion decimating a baby zebra mm -hmm. next to a cute kitten like i think psychologically they did it on purpose and there's method to the madness it's not just random and i think they do it because they know if they press all those psychological buttons in a sequence i don't know if you ever watched all this stuff and instead of being wow that was fun at the end of it you feel a little bit like what's who am i what is what yeah. is this world what, right why do i feel sad and happy and Horny and scared all of a sudden. Like, yeah, and sweating. Yeah. Sweating. Like, what really was that sweating. One? Really sweating. Like, really sweating. Like, wow, that's, did you just stick that underwater and put the shirt on after? That kind of sweating. Huh, never had that one. Oh, yeah. But is there, is, is there somebody, is there a mythology to this? Well, yeah, I think you get in those categories. Uh, or they'll have uh, people with oddly shaped bodies and, <laughs> and they're doing things with, you know, books of cards and, you know, there's magicians that or then you see these guys. I saw one today. Uh, it was a real. These guys just uh, scaffolding this this building and okay. they're at the top of a skyscraper. And oh, God. And they've got nothing, nothing holding them. Ooh. And they're just just plugging along, going up this building. And it, that's a real. So you. But could, that's you know, what I mean. That that gives you a visceral reaction. They take you to the top, and you're like, "Oh my god!" Like you're tense. But then all of a sudden, in the in the swish of a thing, now you're in an over sexualized environment where there's a a girl shaking her ass and her boobs, and then in the next thing, you're watching extreme street violence, people in a fist fight. So I, I I'm gonna keep probing. I feel like. Somehow, these social media people that are flowing this stuff out, I wonder, is there, is there an evil component to this where they're trying to destabilize people I with this stuff? The thing in, in, in itself is, is, is sort of an evil thing. I mean, oh. in the sense that it pulls on your heartstrings, it, it pushes your adrenaline levels, you know. Right. But that's to keep you on... Your phone, or on Instagram, or on whatever it is. It is, it is, but is it also to destabilize us, to make us all a little mentally, like, like uh, un, uh, unsure of ourselves? I mean, anything that keeps you on your phone, in general, I think is... 
part of the goal. You know, keep but think you- of it. A movie keeps us in the movie theater. But if you sign up for a horror movie, it's it's two hours of Texas Chainsaw, a creepy guy with a chainsaw. If you, if you go for, uh, you know... Uh, Gone in eight seconds or whatever those movies are called. It's it's like, you know, the, the, the Days of Thunder. What are those ones? The Fast and the Furious. You know, you're locked in for two hours of car chases. You you know what you're getting, right? The, the, the experience. But where in this time, in this place in our lives, have you, have you been able to just switch from one extreme kind of visual uh, inflow that quickly? Applebee's. Are you serial? Yeah, your wife works there. Are you? Wh- which one? Your which wife? Which wife and which Applebee's? Uh, North and Devonshire and uh, uh, the third wife, the one with the green hair. Are you serial? I could be. I think there, I think it's Crab Fest week over there. Yeah, she's got crab legs, I think. Freak show. Yeah, why do you think she's the third wife? Um, whoa, dude. Whoa, player. I'll walk out. Are you serious? Yeah, I didn't even this... know you cook Chinese. Oh, I'll walk out fast. Wow, well, I like fast food. How big's your walk? She's pretty big. Whoa, guy. Whoa, You just Taylor Swifted my Ariana Grande. Wowzies. Wow. Time, time for some lubrication. Suck your doolip up. Get power jammed. Mm-hmm. That's, That's right. That's right. There we go. Well, I don't know if we resolved because I, I, I feel like there's a deeper psychological uh, d- devious thing going on with all this stuff. Yeah, but there's nothing you can do about it. All you can do is, is you know, have control of your own footprint. But why are they doing it? Why do they want to make people like... Just to I, keep you on your phone, to keep you engaged and keep advertising coming, af- coming after you. But that, that's the surface reason. I get that. That's what all... all media outlets do but this this feels like it it's with with the quick jumping from extreme to extreme i feel like somebody somewhere is like let's let's disrupt society let's keep them off balance so we can control them more let's let's make them all a little loony so that they need more prescription medicines like i feel like there's a kind of a bigger corporate kind of evil behind it am i wrong i wouldn't agree with that not on not on this podcast but yes you're right would you agree with it if I took you later out behind the tool shed where there's a log pile and we just sat on the logs and said the same thing? Would you agree with it? Yeah, if you burnt macaroni and cheese for me. <sighs> done and done, Doolippa. Done and done. Done and done, Doolippa and Doolippa. Oh. <laughs> I'm levitating, I'm levitating, um, I'm levitating. If you could use words for our audience, sir, please. Sir, Oh, here we go. you please put <laughs> the gloves on before you go inside the cut? Cunch. Cunch. What is it, the the seashell? Is that called a conch? Conch. 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 Or conch. Some cut pronounce it conch. Some call it conch. But it's spelt C-O-N-C-H. Could you come out from behind the... There's a microphone through your head. Oh, yeah. When you do that, there's a microphone through your head. Well, guess what I see? What? A microphone through your head. Do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? A microphone through your fucking head. And your wife gets (laughs) all your stuff. Whoa, bro. You know what time it is? Time to get your wife out of the fucking closet? No, bro. I think it's time for words from a wooden shoe. Now, how this works is... Steve, why do you even have that? What a... Do you want to know the story behind this shoe? Where, yeah. So, years ago, I knew I was doing Letterman. I was going to do the David Letter, <coughs> the David Letterman show. Excuse me. And, uh, you know, they book you like, like months in advance, at least they used to. And I was having a party and one of my friends said she was going to Holland. And I said, when are you going? And she was going and then going to be back about two weeks before I went on Letterman. And I always like to mess with Dave. So I said, will you pick me up a size 10 and a half wooden clogs from Holland? I'm going to wear them on Letterman. And so, sure enough, she did. She brought me these from Holland, 
and I got this really beautiful suit and I walked out on Letterman and it looked great. And then I, you know, I, I had these stupid wooden clogs on my feet. And when I sat down with Dave, I, I crossed my legs. So this foot was like right near him at, at his desk. And I'll never, he just looked at me and goes, Harland, it looks like you have wooden footwear on your feet. And it was just, it, I always used to do things. Wait, to, was that your... Is that your Johnny Carson impression? No, that was you doing Letterman. Oh, I well, just, can you do it one more time just so I can hear Harland? you? Harland? It looks like you've got wooden footwear on your feet, Harland. Now you're doing, are you doing John... Wayne Gacy. John Wayne. The serial killer. John Wayne. Gacy. Yeah. Yeah. Not John Wayne. No. The cowboy. No. Why don't you come in here, kid, and I'll put the handcuffs on you. I'll drain the blood from your body, sexually molest you, and then eat your limbs. That's the famous cowboy, say, John gotta, Wayne Gacy. Yeah, but then you got to say pilgrim. Pilgrim. Yeah. Do, do it again, but put the, put the pilgrim back. <sighs> All right, let's move forward. Okay, so how this works, Jeffrey, is we have little tags in the wooden shoe, and on it could be one word or two words. And how it works is you pick out a word... You look at it, and whatever it says, you relate a story or whatever that evokes to you, and you, you tell a story. Let's say it, it, it says corn on the cob. Is there a story about corn on the cob? But real one. Real, yeah. Yeah, okay. So uh, reach into the wooden shoe. Don't look, and uh, grab a, a word from a wooden shoe. And uh, tell us what it is. Yeah. And let's see where it takes us. You never know with words in a wooden shoe. And you tell a story about it? Tell a story, or if it sparks a memory, or a visceral reaction, or if there's something that happened in your life when you're a kid or an adult, or you lost your virgin, whatever it is, does, does that word conjure up anything to you? Yeah, there's two words. Okay. Well, I used to work at a... Um, well, what is it, first of all? Tell the folks. It says car crash. Oh, okay. It should be good. So I used to work at Jelly Belly, for, uh, I was an executive... What's that, Jelly Belly? Jelly Belly, Jelly Beans. Oh, okay. And wow. I was an executive. I guess somebody has to wear. You were an executive. Yeah, I used to wear a skirt because it was ninety one. Wait, that was. What do you mean it was ninety? Like a leather skirt. Right. I was in. Um, oh, it was in nineteen ninety one. Yeah. 18, oh yeah. Eighteen ninety one. No, nineteen ninety one. And I had a leather skirt on. Okay. And and and. Uh, and I was driving down the road, and I was I left work, and I was, yeah, you know, I was hungry because my I hadn't eaten much, so I had low blood sugar level. Yeah, you can't eat a lot when you're wearing a leather mini skirt. I mean, you got to be careful of your waistline. Right, and I only wore the mini skirt as as a sort of like a padding because I used to fall a lot when I used to ballroom dance with your wife. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. You probably don't know any of this. <laughs> I really didn't. That's, yeah. This is wonderful. Keep going. Yeah. Holy. Your wife, your wife. Yeah. Yeah. And me. Ballroom dance. Not just ballroom dancing. Wait, what? Car the? crashing. What happened, gross we toast? Used, we used to go to the grocery store together and yeah. pick, out, pick out different fruits and vegetables together. And she had a, a cleft <laughs> ankle. What the fuck happened? She had a cleft ankle. Wait a minute. She got that from the car crash or yeah. she had it before? She had it before and after. <laughs> what? What? It's a cleft ankle. What does that even look well, like? You, 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 I mean, you apparently don't uh, spend enough time with your wife. Well, wait a minute. Before we get to... You're talking, there's a thing like called a cleft lip. Yeah, this is ankle. For this the ankle. Is, it's a cleft for the ankle. So a cleft lip is when the lip's kind of effed up. It's like kind right. of fangled up, and it looks like somebody cut it in half almost. Right, like your nose. Yeah, and she had a cleft ankle. She had one. Obviously, <laughs> she's not around anymore. Well, wait, w tell me about the car crash. How did it happen? Who was it with you? And you well, so she was like... Dr she she like, was driving. We were kind of were both driving. What? She was yeah. on your lap. I was on the gas. She was on the um, brake. Okay, so how do you... Here's the question. It's almost like a Nancy Drew mystery. How do you brake a car when you have a cleft ankle? Probably you don't. don't. You don't have the strength in your tendons because your ankle's cleft. You gotta use the other leg. Wow. Please tell me the accident didn't happen while you're making a cleft turn. 
No, she was showing me her. Actually, she was showing me her cleft ankle at the time of the crash. That's actually what led to the crash. But you weren't making a cleft turn. No, we were making fun of you. We are talking shit about you. Well, what were you saying? Saying how you're a freak show and that your hair is weird looking and stuff. Well, did you say anything real? Well, we said if we had tiny little surfboards, we could surf your, your hair because it's almost like sea follicles. Follicles? I barely, barely know knowicles. a So you were with... Whoa! You're the king of reaction shots. I is? Or I as? <laughs> what? What is that? You're like a bobblehead with fucking Tourette's. Whoa, bro. She could say anything. You'd be like, dude, I just got a sandwich from the grocery store. And you're like, ah! really? What kind of sandwich? Exactly. Wait, so wait a minute. You're in a, what color is this mini skirt, by the way? Is leather or black? Black leather mini skirt. You're driving down what road? Greensfield. Greensfield, okay. And you take a cleft turn. My wife's on your lap. She's half on my lap. She got looking at her ankle. She said, look at my cleft ankle. Look, Harlan never really noticed it. I told him about it a few times. He wasn't paying attention. And then it just became this thing. And then we start talking about you. And I'm like, oh, Harlan's, you know, Harlan's obviously dipshit, I said, you know. And I just made that up, though. But Dude, um, I was going to let you surf my hair, but maybe not now. The words hurt, bro. Well, Words hurt deep. I mean, Jesus got nailed to a cross. Pontius Pilate fell down a trench. Donny Osmond cut his fingers off in his lawnmower. What you just did to me there, that hurt. Yeah, well, fucking wake up. Wake up and smell your wife's coffee. Oh, my God. Whoa, bro. Made with her fucking cleft ankle. Whoa, bro. Freak show. Freak your pants off and climb up Jack's beanstalk to your daughter's house. <laughs> so that's it. What, 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 what happened when the car crashed, though? Like, what did it roll? Did you hit a light post? What, what happened? We just kind of, it wasn't really a crash. I mean, it was a car crash, but it was, you know, it was minimal. You know, like we just bounced into the like, uh, side of the road, you know, and popped one of the tires and then your wife was crying but not because of the car crash she's just crying she just doesn't like you that much what? she's just this is wife three you're talking about yeah she's just upset with having to be with you and what was her name because i don't know if i believe you were with my third what wife. was her name that's her name she was indian yeah she was a north american indian what was her name is actually her name right wow you were with her Left angle, yeah. turning cleft. Yeah, she used to call me Geronimo. Are you cereal? I hope not. You will be. I'm not. I don't go that way. You will. Um. So we talked about your deep fake show, and now we want to see you do an impression. And I hope I hope you can do this for us. I know that you do an incredible Dustin Hoffman. Don't do it yet, but if you'll grace us. Jeff Richards, master impressionist. If you'll grace us doing Dustin Hoffman reading the lyrics to my milkshake brings the boys to the yard. And if you want, mm -hmm. I can do the fa-la-la part. Sure. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Richards, master impressionist. Dustin Hoffman, my milkshake. My, mi my, my milkshake brings all the... The boys to the yard. And they're like, it's better than yours. <laughs> Damn right. It's better than yours. And I can teach you, but I have to charge. <laughs> My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. And they're like, it's better than yours. Damn right. It's better than yours. And I can teach you, but I'm not, I'm not, I don't have the time. I don't have the patience. I don't have the wherewithal to be able to spend that, dedicate that kind of thing for you. <laughs> I'm going to have to charge. La, 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 la. Warm it up. La, 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 la. The boys are waiting. La, 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 la. I said warm it up. <laughs> Bro, that was pretty good. Like, not, that was excellent. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I, I felt like you really dropped the ball on your part. What do you mean? I did the la la las. Yeah, but they weren't. There was no conviction in it. What, bro? Those were some of the. I don't even think Dua Lipa could have la 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 you better than that. Isn't Dua Lipa? No thanks. I'm busy for the rest of my life. Why are you looking over there? <laughs> you're playing to the camera. <laughs> yeah, because you're trying to get clips out of this. No, I get a deeper laugh. I, uh, someone here. Yeah, there's two of us here. One of us knows how to work a camera. You need something deeper, but I don't know if it's a laugh. How about a McCain deep and delicious cake? Have some more of your Coca Cola. <laughs> don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to do. Do lip off. No thanks. I'm straight. <laughs> Freak show. <laughs> Priest freak. Dude. Full on. Full on. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> Sir, I'm going to have you read this thing. He does a great Dustin Hoffman. So we're going to do bring the milkshake to the yard. <laughs> I'm going to do the la la la's part. Dude. La 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 la. That's, that's you doing it. <laughs> All right, get your la, sleep. La 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 la. Get your sleep. Like a geriatric life, ward. Life your nose. It's running a little bit. Again, one more time. Just quickly. Well, no, I mean, it's <laughs> the whole thing? No, just, no, you've not. Milk, I'm just saying. Milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. La, They're la, like, la, la, la. Warm it up. La, la. The boys are waiting. La, la. I should, I should, I should warm it up. Dustin, we don't have to do it again. We did it. Why do you? Why like, are you saying Dustin? Because you were you became Dustin Hoffman. Yeah, but it's not like the only way you can reach me is by calling me the character name. But you were in deep, and that's what people don't know about Jaffran is that when he does his impressions, he goes in deep. He inhabits the character. He becomes the character. He channels the character. Uh, he absorbs and exudes the character. You're not just like. Putting on a silly voice, you're like you're you become him. I I init I essentially bring all the boys to the yard. La 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 la. Boys are waiting. Just just come to the yard. I got a milkshake for you. You want you want you want chocolate? You want vanilla? What do you want? Strawberry? We don't have strawberry. You want chocolate? You want Vanilla. What about mint chocolate chip, Dusty? I don't know, thanks, I'm straight. <laughs> wow. At least for now. What about uh, pepper crackle crinkle crunch? Yeah, oh. I know him. Are you cereal? Yeah, he works at ICM. Yeah. No way. Yeah. Industrial cornmeal? Yeah, he, he wow. works there too. Well, you said ICM. All of them. They all work there. Wow. Freak show. <laughs> I love you go. I'm not gonna wear glasses, but then you put the glasses on. You either gonna go glass or no glasses? What do you need to read anything for anyway? Because <laughs> I have a, just, a list. Those ideas aren't worth anything. You don't need to go to those. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the wooden shoe. Oh, no. Come on, oh, and... come on. Word from the wooden shoe. Why you got word for the wooden shoe? The last one I looked at had two words. I said words from the wooden shoe. I can't hear you. These new microphones aren't working. <laughs> it's an earphone. Your microphone's here. What's it say, Dusty? Most exotic place. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I used to use. I used to live in Studio City, and uh, that's it. There's a car wash there that's got a, a car hoisted up on in the air. It's hoisted up in the air, right? And they're trying to tell you that we wash cars. Here's a car. We wash it. That feels very exotic if you're from oh. Northern California to be down here and see that. Oh, is that on Ventura? Is that the one with the giant hand? Yeah. And there's a car sitting yeah. on the giant Doesn't hand? make you feel like you're really somewhere else? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's incredible. Yeah. Like part of it's almost like, is this the Twilight Zone? Yeah, I right. Mean, it's not the Twilight Zone. It's just... You're this watching. is real. I'm, I'm going to pull this up on Google. There's, there's a place down the road from here. I know exactly. And it is exotic. It's a car wash. And for some reason, they have a gigantic hand. Like It's almost like a roadside attraction, one of those things. Like your wife. It's a giant hand, not a giant cleft foot. A giant John Ham. It's a giant John Ham hand. And on the hand is a, is a car, like an old like Corvette Stingray or something. 
Yeah. And I don't, I've never seen that anywhere else in the world. So you, it was an exotic place. Uh, uh-huh. The survey says you are right, Jeffrey. <laughs> this is a disaster. This is the worst thing I've ever been a part of. Are you of. cereal? I mean, tell me. What kind of cereal you got? Well, it's funny you said that because, you know, we've been having some hijinks and um, we've been having some fun. And so the next segment, actually, it's interesting. This is where we get to a real question, like a deep, serious question. And we call this segment, we get get rid of the old wooden shoe. And we call this segment... Are, are you cereal? <laughs> what, how, it, how it works is what we do is we, we pour cereal in a bowl like this. Yeah. And what happens You're going to put it back in there? You just waste it. And then what happens is... Are you going to put it back in there or waste it? What happens is I stick my face in the cereal so that my face is covered with Cocoa Krispies and then I ask you a real serial question. Why don't you just put your face in there and just and leave it at that? Because I have to ask you the real serial question. Do it. Do it. And you have to say, "Are you serial?" After I do it. Well, don't don't expect the world, dude. You're a fucking full on. <laughs> what are you doing with your life? What is this? Why? What is wrong with you? This is so unnecessary. You could have just kept talking and you bought a bowl of cereal. What are you trying to derail your own show? Here's what this we're going to do. This is a fucking shit show. We're going to go get a word from our sponsor. When I come back, folks, I'm going to have Vaseline on my face. We're going to stick my face in the Cocoa Krispies. And uh, we're going to do the segment, Are You Cereal? with Jeff Richards. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsor. Hi folks, Ernie Childs here for an incredible new invention for your dryer. Oh boy. Tired of your clothes smelling like an old cling-free sheet? Look out. Introducing dryer bacon. Here we go. Delicious thick cuts of smoked bacon for your dryer. Are you tired of your clothes smelling like a Shell Station restroom? Oh boy, just pull off a thick meaty slice. Nothing could be easier. And throw it in the dryer. Goodbye, cling free sheets. Look out. Just put it on spin cycle for 30 minutes. Here we go. Look out, and faster than piggies in a blanket, your clothes come out smelling like a Denny's waitress. Oh boy. Bacon scented strips, leaving your laundry smelling delicious every time. Incredible dryer bacon. Make your sweater smell like a Motel 6 buffet breakfast. Look out, the incredible new Dryer bacon. Order yours today. Okay, thanks to our uh, sponsor, Ernie Childs. Man, that guy could sell uh, ice to an Eskimo. Uh, But we're back, and uh, we've got a new segment, and it's called Are You Cereal? And the way it works is I ask you a real serious question or serial question. And uh, to do it, I have to stick my face in a bowl of cereal. So let's do that. First of all, here we go. (laughs) Fuck. Jesus. So, <laughs> Jeff, are you cereal? What happens? What do you think happens to us when we die? Well, I think that our spirits continue. I think that our flesh goes to the ground and dissolves into the earth right. in its own way. But I think our spirits stay in different dimensions, I think, mostly. I think that we, 
There's dimensions we don't even know about. And there's wait, are you cereal? <laughs> yes, very cereal. <laughs> so wait, they go to another dimension. Yeah, I think that uh, our, our spirit, our inner soul, is something that continues forever. That finds new uh, vehicles to operate. You know, maybe the body of a bug or the body of a flatbed snake or a flatbed uh i don't know if that's a snake but some sort of flat snake or bug so you know. just just so i'm clear you're being cereal right now please keep going look I'm you listening. gotta wear sunscreen if you don't wear sunscreen, it's just this is your skin. Is this? Are you cereal? No, are you cereal? I am cereal. I'm Cocoa Krispies. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> I'll go right for the warm Coke. <laughs> to, uh, you got to have some. It's like air for you. Warm Coke with no bubbles. Freak show. Your wife. We'll be right back. You already said you're gonna be right back. I know, but now I mean it. Really? You I'm thought cereal. about cereal. I'm really cereal. You're a freak fest. <laughs> They're two guys in their underpants, just two guys in their underpants. They like yeah, yeah. Yeah. In their underpants. Friend, a hot smoking Saturday night and you're sitting on a couch staring into your cell phone? What in the name of fire roasted Swiss fudge are you doing? I am on a dating app, my friend. I finally decided to look for a lady friend on the intergoogle so that I can fun frolics with a female friend. Horse riding, cracking chestnuts, spreading peanut butter on our faces and licking. Hold on, hold on. You're on a, on a, what, a dating app? Yes, it's wonderful. It's just fudge packed full of beautiful beauties, wonderful girls. And I was able to join for free the Barf Faced Babes dating app. Oh, henceforth, come to me, my lovelies. Are you out of your mu- what? Bar-faced what? First of all, these these dating apps, I don't even think they work. I mean, who's gonna want to go out with- Oops, hold on. I just got a match, friend. Wait, what? Oh my goodness, look at this bar-faced beauty. Wait, you, you got one? W what does she look like? Imagine a mentoid. Running across a bowling alley, she falls on 12 bowling balls, smash her in the face. Wait, what? And then her face puffs up like a pumpkin that's been kicked by a cow. What the hell are you talking about? This, you, this is a girl you want to date? Well, I don't see why I wouldn't. I mean, oh, wait. Oh, my God. I've just got another... Another match. Molly Ringwald's meat mash. Wait, you already got another one? What? What's this one look like? Have you ever heard of Arby's horsey sauce? Of course. Well, imagine they have to milk this girl's gums to get it. What the hell? They literally have to milk her teeth to get Arby's horsey sauce. What What are you talking about? Are you telling me these... Are these girls any good looking? Whoops, hold on a second, another match, friend. Mushroom filled meatballs and mongoose snot. Are you telling me you already got another d babe? Oh, have you ever heard of tailgating, friend? Yeah. Well, it looks like somebody smashed this babe's face in a tailgate about 700 times. Her teeth could chew through a cement mixer. What the hell are you talking? Who are these? Barf doll babes. I mean, you gotta be. What? These, these sound like a nightmare. They're called barf faced babes and. Whoops! Oh my goodness, Gorgonzola! I just got another match, friend! How the hell are you pulling this off? What's this one look like? Do you remember what John F. Kennedy's head looked like after seven bullets went through it? 
Yes, of course. Well, say hello to my bar-faced babe. Oh, you gotta be... Listen, this is not the way to meet ladies. There's gotta be a... There's better ways to meet ladies. Oh, look at her. Oh, I bet her breath smells like a wild hippopotamus doing vinegar farts. Gravy dripping from her nose. Sweet roadkill. I'm this close to hammering a vampire steak right up my... Uh, I can picture her on her hands and knees eating raw beef from an all-you-can-eat buffet. Brussels sprouts in her hair. Slap me in the swamp thing. Corn niblets in her teeth. Stephen King's apple cider. Garlic butter dribbling from her underpants. Suck my psoriasis. Spinach, scrambled eggs, and baby carrots shooting out of her hairy belly button. Jesus, I think my legs are about to snap. Oh, bar-faced babe. Now look, this is not the way to go about getting a date. Do you even know what you'd do if you got a date? Well, not really. Okay, let's rehearse. What do you mean? We're gonna practice what to do when you're on a date. So you don't screw it up. Like a training session. Exactly. Now, you sit over here, and I'll sit over there. And let me help you. Thank you, most precious friend. Now, first thing you want to do when you meet her is offer up some pleasantries. Pleasantries, friend? You know, give her a compliment, say something nice about how she looks. I understand. Go ahead, try it on me. Okay. Hello, Barface. Dug up any corpses from the graveyard with your yellow teeth lately? No, what are you doing? You told me to do a pleasantry. That sounded more like a toiletry. Friend? All right, let's skip to the next part. Act like you're interested. How? Uh, ask her a question about herself. Okay. Does your ass stink? What? No. No. Why would you ask that? You said to ask a question. But it's not about... Friend? All right, let, let's try this the other way. I'll, I'll be the instigator. Okay. I'll ask you some questions. See if we can get this thing going in the right direction. Most excellente. All right, so, uh, well, uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, so you, uh, read any good books lately? Yes, as a matter of fact, I'm reading one now. Oh, wonderful. And what's it called? It's called Spread Me a Five Note. Spread Me a Five Note. Oh, interesting. Can you tell me a bit about it? I'll go one better. Why don't I just spread you a five note? What the hell are you doing? Oh, my God. What are you doing? Close your legs, for Christ's sake. What are you? I'm spreading a five note. I don't even think that's a real book. It most certainly is. Oh, really? Why don't you read a passage from it, then? As he emerged from the alleyway on a dark, misty, moonlit night, he spread his rusty legs and gave her a five note. What the? Oh, God. What are you doing? Yeah. Oh, Johnny, she cried with an impassioned tone in her voice. What does a woman smitten and so in love have to do to keep you? Johnny slowly turned around as rain began to drop from the skies. He bent over and he said, simple baby, spread me a five note. <laughs> What the hell are you? Did you just make that up? Jesus. Well, you asked if I was reading a book. That's not a real book. Spread me a five note. Okay, if you insist. No. Oh, God. No, stop. Close your legs. I'm spreading a five note. Close your damn swollen legs. Well, this date isn't going well. Shut up. We're moving on. Nasty little bastard. Shut up. Isn't that weird, though? Uh, weird for you because <laughs> you, you got a really interesting lifestyle. And that bug that's in your bathroom? Yeah. What do you do? What is that? That's very you, but what are you doing? Like you don't have bugs in your bathroom? Yeah, but they're not under glass and stick to the back of a toilet. Well, what, it's what exactly, a, what is that? What kind of fly is that? It's actually kind of called a rhinoceros beetle. And they're huge. They're one of the biggest insects on the planet and they have a huge prosipheus or whatever that's called or a horn Prosi you just make him <laughs> i just up. made but it sounded yeah. Yeah, right but it sounded good it sounded good that it has a huge prosipheus me, the strangest thing to me is how much it looks like your wife are you cereal right now bring it out let's take a look am i
Let's see the cereal. You want it again? Show me the cereal. You can't handle the cereal. You can't handle my tooth. I can't handle the bug in your bathroom. What? What are you? Why, why are you so freaked out about a rhinoceros I beetle? I got scared of it. It looked so vivid. I took a. I had to pee on it. I took. I shot a stream onto it. So you've never seen a? Did you? Know, did you know what a rhinoceros beetle was? Have you ever heard of it in of your course. in your lifetime? Of course. Honestly. Yes, of course. Okay. So that just tell. Have you? Let me read the Hoffman thing again. <laughs> okay. My milkshake brings all the bullies to the yard. They're like better than yours. I'm like better. Wait, than wait, yours. wait, wait. Why don't we do? Why don't we nacho it up a gear, Taco Bell? Please. Okay. Watch this. I had this. two Taco Bell tacos today. Watch this. You did? Yeah. I thought I smelled your wife. Uh, why don't we do this? Oh, here we go, Brosh. Brashifish. Let's do Robert Downey Jr. Singing, don't you, or doing, don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me? So, um, yeah, oh, okay, oh, we're about to get a little hot and sweaty in this, motherfuck- motherfucker. Ladies, let's go. You see this shit get hot? Every time I come through, when I step up in the spot, make the place sizzle like a summertime cookout, prowl for the best chick, yes, I'm on the lookout. So banging, shorty, like a belly dancer with it. Just smells good, pretty skin, gangster, you know, five foot ten, ready to party. No tricks, only diamonds. Yep, you know, it's like a whole thing, right? Whoa, bro. Morton Downey Jr. Was Morton Downey Sr. Are you cereal right now? I don't know. Pull the cereal out. Is it still <laughs> we, under there? We already did it. Did you do the cereal thing already? We already what, did I was it. was I here? Yes. I asked you that deep question. Well, why do you keep asking it? I'm either cereal or I'm not cereal. I know. And if I'm not cereal, I'm not telling you. Well, you already did in well, the last segment. Maybe I'm lying. <laughs> Whoa. Well, that just means you'll have to come back and I'll have to ask you again if you're cereal. Listen, I have your address now. So Are you you're cereal? You'll probably see a lot more of me. Wow. <laughs> Are you cereal? <laughs> why don't you go to the dairy and <laughs> slam your Freak. Go to the dairy. <laughs> Slam your face in the freezer. Stupid ass. Why do you have to go to the dairy to put your face in a freezer? Why don't know. you say put it in a freezer? <laughs> Why do I have to go to a dairy? Because that's probably not even makes, easy to get on the campus. Right. That's what makes it funny. Like your wife. It's so weird. It's like out there, bro. Yeah, but no thanks, I'm straight. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. How's that flat Coca-Cola doing? You it's love it? So good, huh? It's nice spicy. and flat. Nice it's, and warm and flat. It's not. It's. And I go, you go, you want something to drink? And you had one Perrier and one iced tea. Well, and you made it sound like you had an assortment of things for me to look at. Dude. And you go, what do you want? You want the... The fucking the <laughs> grape soda that's already been opened and contaminated and decarbonated, <laughs> or do you want do you want the one this or the one that? It's like this is ridiculous. I, I'm ready to storm off after thinking about all this, dude. I I texted you and said, "What do you want?" Dude, to I drink? don't have a phone. I told you this. You're not texting me. You're texting somebody else. That's not. Where's me. your phone? With your wife. <laughs> oh, Freak <man>. show. <laughs> You are so... Tell them about the Priest Freak shirts that we're selling. Oh, yeah. Well, we have a shirt that we made called, it's called Priest Freak. And uh, if you want to get one, you can go to harlemwilliams.com, and it says Priest Freak on it, and there's a picture of a very sweaty, nervous-looking priest. And, in fact, this is a good place um, to show off this week's uh, Shirts of the Week at harbling.com. So let's take a look at my hand-drawn T-shirts, and we'll be right back... And uh, I think uh, Mr. Impressions over here is going to be doing some Jimmy Fallon for us. We'll be right back. Oh, yeah, here we go. Time for another hand-drawn shirt by yours truly. And if you don't know, I draw my own T-shirts. I take Sharpie markers and I draw directly on the T-shirt. And if this shirt's still available, you can own it at harbling.com so let's go ahead and reveal 
this week's hand-drawn Harlan t-shirt. Well, here we go. Here are this week's hand-drawn t-shirts by yours truly. And this one, as you can see, is called Molly. And I don't know if any of you have ever done Molly or heard of Molly, but, uh, and I don't know if any of you have heard of Molly Ringwald, the actress. And I don't know if any of you have been to Burning Man, where a lot of Molly happens, but that's kind of what inspired this shirt. I actually went to Burning Man and did see a lot of people on Molly, and Molly was all over the place, and I just thought it'd be fun to pair the two together. So Molly Ringwald. And uh, over here, we have our second shirt, and I call this one Teardrops for Technology. And it's basically kind of, I don't know, my interpretation of, you know, how advanced we're getting with technology and and is it getting to the point where even technology is sad about how advanced we're getting? Are we losing our grip on humanity, handing over everything we are and everything we know to the world of technology where robots and AI are going to be running everything? I don't know. Maybe we're going to need Molly more than ever to help us cope with technology. There you go. That's this week's hand-drawn t-shirts. You can get them at harbling.com. And if they're sold out, the originals, you can always order a print. All right, we are back, bro. <laughs> this, is <ridiculous. laughs> this is so ridiculous. Jesus. This is show business, 2020-21. So we'll be right back. Okay, let's have a donut, you know. Let's pull out a bowl of cereal. Let's read lyrics. You know I don't know how to read. You're getting lucky that I could read as good as I would. I don't know how to read. This you is don't? luck. I guess what the letters and the vowels were put together. I but just see, guess. this is the example of the depth of his impressions. As a human being, Jeff can't read, but when he inhabits someone else's persona he goes so deep dustin hoffman can read morton downey jr can read right and now jimmy fallon can't read so not well, either of us are going to be able to read this well one. try it it's oh, lady no, lumps it. it's the beautiful song lady lumps jimmy fallon doing lady lumps i don't remember this song well you will give me a little how it goes um my lumps my lady lady humps my lump, okay. my <laughs> lovely lady bumps. Check it out. Okay. They got my dosa van. Okay. My dosa okay, that's enough. Wow, snap much? Ginger snap? Your wife. Uh, all right, this is Jimmy Fallon. Here yeah. we go. Uh, what you going to do with all that junk, you know? All that junk inside your trunk, you know what I mean? I'm going to get, 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 get you drunk, you know what I'm talking about? That's the coolest thing in the world, you know? Get me... Get you love my drunk off my hump, you know? Can you imagine? It's the coolest thing to me. My hump, 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 my little lady, my little lovely little lumps. That's the coolest thing in the movie. That's a, that's a mess of amazing thing. Having fun is cool, you know? Check it out. Okay, that's. Wow, bro. I'm, I'm not a reader. I know. Have you ever thought about DeVry? They offer reading classes. <laughs> Seriously, bro. DeVry could help you with anything you Are got. Are you cereal? <laughs> <laughs> Freak show. This is all going to be scrapped. You better hope you didn't record this. <laughs> This is not worth airing. <laughs> what do you mean? This is gold, bro. If you bro. cut your part out, it would be okay. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, if you cut all of you out. Right. It would probably be a good podcast. Oh, so it should just be you and, yes. the, and the characters. For this one. For this one. Yeah. I might try that. Let me try. Uh, cut me out. Cut me out. Uh, note to uh, editor. Cut me out. You're the editor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, note to self, cut me out. And we're back. Uh, didn't really work. 
What do you mean we're back? Well, this I is can't. hard to tell. We've been <laughs> going just... the whole time, so there's no goodbye and back. It's like, <laughs> and we've been recording the whole time. You know what I'm saying? There's no back. There's no coming back or we're back. We we never went anywhere. No, dude, I if was you gone. Kept these recorded. <laughs> if they're recording, then it just it's just no illusion to this. I was gone for about five minutes, and it was just you. It was perfect. It was? Was you it know, better? Oh, it was way better. Are you cereal? Are you? Pull the cereal out. Do the trick again. It's not a trick. It's a, I already did it. I like looking at the cereal. It looks okay, good, Okay, I can pull it out again if you want. That's what she said. Oh, those! I need to have that. Cocoa got Krispies. Milk? No, thanks. I'm busy for the rest of my life. Is that the new one you do instead of saying, no, thanks, I'm straight? <laughs> no, Are but you, you, I think you said that because you, you know I'm lactating. Which is kind well, of well. I know rude. that your boobs are big enough to feed like a a bandit of of bands. Of my lumps, my lovely lady bumps, Dolce and Gabbana. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where did you even think of this song? My lumps, my. I mean, did you go looking through songs? Dude, that's lists? the Red Hot Chili Peppers brush. What is? My lovely lady lumps. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's uh, it's not the it's the uh, the black eyed peas, which is also a food group. I mean, peas, beans, peppers. I mean, it's all food. You got a lot of problems. Well, no, I got a lot of cereal. Not really. It's all there. Are you cereal? Oh my god, <laughs> this is like torture. I want to go home. No, you do tomorrow. I know a couple of guys who drive Uber. Oh, really? Your wives? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, my wives? All your wives drive Uber? <laughs> what does that even mean? Are you cereal? <laughs> freak show. Tell them about the priest freak shirt again. <laughs> I'll put a picture up of it. Yeah. And if you want a priest freak shirt, it's just a saying, but you said it would make a good band. Like, yeah, I was trying to <laughs> make you feel better, but. But you, because I said it to you once, you're a priest freak, and then you said, oh, that'd be a great name for a band. Priest freak. Priest freak. But a- anytime anyone calls you on the shirt and be like, what are you doing? Is this anti religious or whatever? Yeah. Just say, no, this is for Judas priest enthusiasts. I'm a priest freak. Oh, right. Okay. That's how you get away with it. I see now. What kind of... They already got away with having Judas Priest as a band name. So if you just say, I'm Priest Freak, this is part of that. I know the guy, Halford. Halford? Who's that? That's the lead singer of uh, your wife. (laughs) This sucks, man. I don't like you. I'll go home. <laughs> Why is everything? You get a fucking bowl of cereal <laughs> the size of one of your eyes, and then it's like no milk. This is you. It's like, <laughs> dude, I told you I put Vaseline on my face. I got to stuff my face in there for the are you cereal question. Well, get to it. We already did it. How'd you it go? Time more. How'd it go? You were there. I don't remember that. Do you part. want me to play it again? I'll play it again. Play, play it, it again. again. <laughs> Fuck. Jesus. Why didn't you use the tuba? I did use the tuba, but it, it, it's not going to get me off the, out of the trunk. Oh. It's just going to give me a little song for the for the ride home. But, well, you uh, do like to blow. <laughs> <laughs> That's That doesn't impress me. Well, you got to blow a tuba to get the noise. That's not. That doesn't impress me. <laughs> well, it's tuba. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Dude, that's just... It's... What a God. Oh man, we're having too much fun, aren't we? This might be the best podcast ever. 
Mmm, <laughs> warm, uncarbonated Coke. Yum. Have you ever... Um... See, that's like an eight-year-old would drink that still. What do you mean? An adult would put that aside and get another one. Or drink... Well, this is fun. You can you see gotta... the fuzz. Look it's not the... supposed to have fuzz in it. <laughs> it is. Look at the fuzz. You keep saying it's flat. It's you know what, though? I will fuzzier say... than a Lorox crawling out of Dr. Seuss's underpants. Is that a Nickelodeon reference? No. That 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 Coca-Cola bottle, I mean, that's something an eight-year-old would covet. <laughs> you know, usually get through the drink, get another drink. What, why would I? What do you think of the new? This uh, new? Uh, what do you think? It's the first time we've had it up. It's great. You're the first one to sit in the. Uh, I didn't know you would do that color scheme, though. California sunset. It's actually more of a Miami thing. Well, it's part of the Harland Highway kind of theme, where it's like over here we have the deep city, over there we got the West Coast, the East Coast. So like it's about the journey you're on when you get on the Harland Highway. I think that's this is just the stuff you had left around, lying around. I don't think that you actually coordinated anything. Are you? I a, think this is a mistake, because. I mean, these are nice because you have your bold red colors, right. your bold blue, and this is, you know, uh, neutral. But this is, this is like Doc, something Doc Severson would have worn. During are Johnny you being Carson totally day. serial right now? I, I don't know. I, I, I have no way of knowing. <laughs> well, I'm, all I can do is ask. No. No. All right, we've got to slowly wrap this thing up, but uh, slowly wrap it up. Yeah, we're gonna do another hour. I'm just letting the viewers know we were do slow rolling the next hour, but we're, we're closing slow the pod. rolling. Yeah. The hour's an hour. We're closing. We're ending. We're the show's coming to an end, but I don't just don't end it quickly. I, I like it to kind of slow percolate. So we're yeah. Well, over the next yeah, hour, would call that someone would call that torture. Over that, some would use the word torture. For that, someone who lived in uh, colonial uh, England when they used to Dude, torture. You gotta look after your own colonial freak. Wait, are you being totally serial right now? Ask the serial. <laughs> Talk to the serial. Are you being ser Are you serial? Wait, are you serial? Why don't you get some milk for it, and I'll I'll power power glaze that whole thing down. Because I don't want you to. It's mine. You're going to put it back in the box? Yeah, it's delicious. What it's been on my freak. face with Vaseline. It'll, it's good for the circulatory system. Oh, my God. What a terrible man you are. <laughs> Dude. This is a freak show. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I feel like, I almost feel like the doors aren't going to open when I try to leave. This is like some, like, house of cards. Some fucking Johnny Depp movie. Why don't you go to a chocolate factory and crack your face on a giant you chocolate You want me to go to a chocolate factory? Yes, good, fine. <laughs> on we go. There's no way of knowing where my wife is going. Oh, my God. But I know where she's going. I hope so. I think so. I hope that they do. I think that they will. It's hard to say from here. Good, fine. On we go. <laughs> Wow, Gene Wilder, gang. Gang? <laughs> this is... Snake carpet. You got snake carpet. You never talk about that. Either. Snake carpet. Freaks. <laughs> um, let's tell the good folks where they can uh, watch your incredible um, Jeff Richard show on the internet. Can't even say my name. It's not a complicated name. It's called The Jeff Richard Show. It's on YouTube uh, or anywhere you get podcasts. It's a uh, video on YouTube and uh, audio on the audio thing. And then I'm The Jeff Richards on uh, Instagram. God. This is... I don't even know how to feel about this because I'm glad you're having a good time. I'd I rather just, to just dive into the pool and not come back up, but... But, I mean, I'm trying to... You're trying. I think you made it through, what do you mean guy. I'm trying? <laughs> I think you made it through. Well, you, I said I'm trying, and then when you say you're trying, well, I don't like when you your say Your head dues are on crooked, and your your eyes are all glazed like you've been staring into a pumpkin's asshole all night. Sir! I am staring into a pumpkin's asshole. I'm looking at you. Same fucking thing. Freaks. <laughs> 
See what I did with there? I, I did the Harlan Highway thing, and then I got another thing from New York, and then there's a skyline. And this one I like because it's like kind of got the Miami thing going on. Sir! Sir! Are you serial? Are you serial? You're watching the Harlan Highway. Are you fucking serial? Serial? Dude, what is wrong with you? This is what's wrong with me. You poke and prod me enough, this is what you get. <laughs> you got to get that black mini skirt and get it to Applebee's, bro. Wow. You are out of control, bro. Brought you in as a, an official podcast guest, and you, you're like a tumbleweed blowing through Dolly Parton's underpants. <laughs> I went to her house with my bl- 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 brown leotard. <laughs> brown leotard. Who, get, who wears a brown leotard? Me. <laughs> You're watching the Harlan Highway. <laughs> Sir. Sir. Are you fucking serial right now? Sir. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, what's the new one you got instead of saying... No, I'm I'm straight. You kind of got rid of that. I'm busy for the rest I'm busy of my for life. The rest of my life. It's like you're a freak, freak show. Catch Jeff Richards' incredible deep fake show, the Jeff Richards Show. I uh, plug your Instagram. You just so, did it, the <laughs> Jeff Richards. You, you just Instagram. Did it. Yeah. Well, you're ask me if I'm serial. <laughs> okay. Folks, I hope you had a good time here at the Harlan Highway here today. And uh, we'll have Jeff back tomorrow for sure. Oh. <laughs> and uh, Jeff, thank you for being here. Did you have a good time? No, obviously not. <laughs> you will. I'm going to give a bad re- Yelp review. Are you your, cereal? Your podcast. How many cereals? I'm going to give it one star. Oh, so Lucky Charms. Yeah. That's it for now, folks. Thanks for being here. Thanks for riding down the Harlan Highway. Thank you, Jeff Richards. And until next time, chicken chow mein, baby. (laughs) You look like Ted Williams currently. Who's that? Ted Williams, a baseball player? No, thanks. I'm busy for the rest of my life. Oh, my God, this new ending that you do. God, are you cereal? (laughs) Yes, I am. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm Cocoa Krispies. Like a a Lord of the Rings character. (laughs) Whoa, bro. Too far? Yeah, we'll be right back. The Harlan Highway. Does it look funny? Yeah, it's good. Oh, good. Is there lots of it? Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, of course. It looks great. Yeah, let me go wash it off, and then we're we're all done. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> my stomach hurts. Good. It's still recording, so don't say anything bad about me. Sir, I'm going to the bathroom. And I'm going to wash off all these creepy critters, these little brown bugs, these tiny little flakes of chocolate goodness. I'm going to throw them all away, let them go down the sink, round and round and down the sink. Sir! Okay, everybody, we're back from the Harlan Highway. I'm Harlan Ways. Sir! You're listening to the Harland Highway. Sir! Are you fucking serious? I'm sorry, but I'm busy for the rest of the year. So is my wife. <laughs> <laughs>